Joining me now from Southern California, independent journalist and host of the Adult in the Room podcast, Victoria Taft. Vicki, I want to talk about the state leaders because op everything obviously emanates uh, from them. State leaders are protecting the rights of the, quote, homeless. Many of them are bums, which is why I use that term. But, but this is the next proposal. Listen to this one. The California, you probably know about already, the California Compassionate Intervention Act would treat crimes like defecating on public transportation or using heroin or methamphetamine in public as, quote, cries for help and opportunities to both engage the homeless and return respect for the law on our streets. They're trying to normalize what a civil society con considers abnormal and an attack on itself. Well, there's no such thing as abnormal anymore. It's all been normalized in the state of California, Graham. And this is what happens when the government enables people to be homeless and does nothing about the quality of life crimes that are caused by people sleeping on the streets and defecating on the streets and that sort of thing. And in fact, that compassion uh, initiative that you've talked about, which is now circulating signatures, will allow people to go to these homeless people uh, therapy courts, and I'm not making that up. That is not a typo, or you didn't mishear me. Therapy courts, so that people can be directed to therapies that will help them. Well, that in and of itself is a good thing, of course. We oh. know most of the people on the street are drug addicted and mentally ill, but this is just going to throw more money at a problem that was initially caused by California Democrats in the first place. I'm going to need therapy the next time I visit my hometown of San Francisco for the next time I'm walking down the aisles of a grocery store and I see some bum defecating in the aisles of a grocery store or, or possibly have to shield my daughter's eyes from watching somebody shoot up heroin on the streets of San Lombard Street for all I know. I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. But don't worry. Don't worry because illegal aliens are now going to be able to have health care in, in California. And it gets worse than that because the question is, who pays for the illegal aliens' health care, right? Oh, I have an answer well, for it. Well, well we, we know it's going to be you. <laughs> it's going to be right. paying for because you live in California. That's right. But it's, it's because of this mandate this mandate that's going in is so funny. Now, California now has a mandate that requires you, Vicki, and, and what, 35 million other people who live in California to have health care insurance now. So just when the federal court struck down this mandate of Obamacare, here you have the state of California picking it up and saying, oh, it's unconstitutional, then we'll implement it. You know, America is obsessed with zombies. California is, too. They keep bringing back zombie programs like Obamacare to inflict on the populace in order so that they can give free health care to illegal aliens and other people. There are so many exemptions on this particular program that it's, it, you know, stymies the mind that you can't even imagine how many people will end up actually being on the program. $750 fine if somebody doesn't buy this, uh, this uh, you know, health care. And, and all the rest of us have to pay for the people who get all the free care, which is to say most of the people. It's all about the tax. You it's, know? All it's all about, about the, the, the income coming it's to Sacramento the and then the redistribution of wealth That's as well. Right. And if you look at the big picture, California, if you look at what's happening, California is devolving. It's not evolving. It's devolving, and it's devolving back to the Stone Age. Look at this. Sierra Club is, is popping champagne right now. It says, forward-looking cities lead the way to a gas-free <laughs> future considering policies to support all electric new construction. This is mind-boggling to me. Suppose you want to open up a restaurant and you want to you want to cook some decent meals, right? You're going to cook with electric cooktops? I don't think so. But just the individual at home. What happened to liberty and being able my my grandfather's favorite expression was now you're cooking with gas? Right. Well, it's going to be obsolete now in California. They don't like gas because it's a, it's a petroleum product. And the pr problem is, is that you're not going to believe this, but they want electricity for everything. And the problem with that is natural gas, you know, the one they're trying to get rid of, yeah. and the LNG plants they don't want, is what generates electricity. <laughs> I mean, there's, I mean, talk about blowing a fuse in your brain. Hello, the breaker's off. Somebody please turn it on because well, these people don't have a clue. And, and what about these power outages, right? These blackouts? Oh. You black, how are you going to cook? How are you going <laughs> to cook? I mean, when, in my house, uh, if I had a, a gas stove, my gas stove would work during an outage, and Good. also my fireplace would work. 
yeah. during an outage. Yeah. And so that is essential. I mean, you might have people in the Sierra, for instance, that would die if they don't get any heat. Uh, I mean, you don't let them go and make wood fires anywhere because that's against the, the uh, air quality standards. Uh -huh. So this, I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a vicious circle. And really what it boils down to, it redounds to one thing, and it's lack of trust in the individual. They that's think right. They, can, they think they can command what it's you do because they think they know better than you do because they don't trust individuals. They're masterminds. <laughs> and, and this is what the federal government could look like. California could be uh, morphing into the federal government if we don't watch what we're doing in Washington, D.C. Vicki, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.